The code we're looking at today is virtually identical to the code we're looking at in the previous video. Previous video was file info file statistics and this is directory info directory statistics. So as you might ima imagine the only difference is we're looking at directory attributes rather than file attributes. And we're using the same program. Uh, the form involves uh, essentially a button that uh, you click which brings up a folder browser that allows the user to select a, a directory and if we look at the code behind in this here's the folder browser dialog and then we show this dialog with the show dialog using the object we created as a folder browser dialog and we look at the return value and if the return value is OK, then that means the user selected a, a directory so it can proceed. And we get the selected path, which is the directory the user selected, and set it into a text box on our screen. And then we look at uh, two radio buttons. Uh, one's rad file and one's rad directory. But we really need to just look at rad file since they alternate being on and off depending on which one is pressed and if we uh, if the user selected uh, rad file we go to display files and if not we go to display directories and display files is what we looked at previously if I right click on this and select uh, go to definition we can see that uh, the display files code essentially does uh, creates a directory info object based on the directory that we pass it, the one the user selected. And then it gets an array of file info uh, using the get files uh, method. And this almost identical to what we're going to do today except we're going to be looking at get directories and we have various fields that some of which are date time that have the creation time last access time and so on and we go through each of the uh, file info uh, members in turn using a for each and display various attributes like the creation time last access time and so on. And if we go back to the form and then go back to the button again and then come down and select uh, display directories which is the other radio button being selected and then go to uh, go to definition you'll see that uh, this is pretty much identical except we're getting an array of directory info instead of an array of file info and then once again we're going through each element in the array using a for each which reads di array 0 in the first time di arr 1 in the second time and so on iterating through each of these and then we get the same attributes well not the same attributes but the pretty similar attributes of the um, directory that we got from the file and as before I have all the possible attributes listed in, in a comment in case you want to get attributes other than the ones we're displaying here and once again I use a format string with the uh, field size specified after a comma so this is parameter 0 with a field size of 25 and parameter 1 with a field size of 60 and the fact that this is a plus value on the field size indicate that it's right justified and the fact this is a negative value on the field size indicate that it's uh, left justified so essentially these are going to look centered and pressed next to each other because one's right justified and one's left justified regardless of what the length are and the first value is a description so we have attributes which is a, an attribute of the file info or directory info and then we have the attributes variable which essentially is just a string with a comma separated uh, 
list of, of what the attributes are. And I display these using a pen text to a multi-line uh, list box, <coughs> or text box rather. And I use an environment.newline to put uh, new lines after each of them. So they're each on their own line and each nicely formatted with the string format. And we go through and do this with all these. We have to do a two string with a format type of F for the uh, date time since that's not normally a string. And the F is a nice uh, format. It looks like a, a good time value. And uh, they run, blah, blah, let's see. Oh, one thing that's really different is that we get parent. And parent, unlike uh, these other values, is another directory info structure. So, in effect, we're dealing with a recursion where we're looking at a directory info and getting another directory info from it. So, I can have a whole list of other attributes that are identical to the ones I'm listing here after the parent and they would all come up with different values but in this case I'm just looking at the name so I'm just going to show the name of the parent in the list rather than going through all the characteristics of the parent the way I'm going through all the characteristics of the directory we're looking at and I think that's the only real difference between the uh, directory info and the file info is that I now have a recursive structure that I could look at the whole thing all over again using the value above and I could no doubt get the parent of the parent and so on and go all the way to the top of the, the hierarchical file structure. I think that's pretty much it. I do another uh, extra new line so that the list of attributes are separated from each other for each of the directories and then I do a count that I increment and then set that count into a, a file or rather a text box that uh, I use to convert dot to string because it's an integer and we need to convert it to string to put it in the text box and that pretty much covers all the code so let's see how this works let's uh, save it and then do a compile and run and if we press uh, get directory and file info well no before we do that I'm gonna set the uh, <coughs> radio button to directory so we're getting directories rather than files and press get directory and file info and go down into the uh, list of folders uh, probably a good one certainly one with a lot of different uh, directories would be um, well I don't know CS probably do good if I click OK see I get 19 different directories and the attributes for almost all these directories is just directory I think it is for all of them and then they have the creation time, the last access time, and the parent is, is CS. So the parent is essentially the directory we're looking at. And the directory that we're getting the attributes of here is array test, not CS. And in the case of this, calendar test one. And that parent is CS. They all have the same parent, of course. And that should be apparent. <laughs> and I think that pretty much covers uh, the directory info aspect to this program. At least you think this is just an academic episode, uh, exercise. I'm going to uh, start a whole mini course after this, which is basically a beginner's guide on how to uh, program in general and program with C sharp specifically and it will greatly involve file info and directory info and a really useful application extremely useful application I use almost every day since I wrote it so uh, I'll see you for that uh, mini course and I hope you enjoyed uh, and learned a lot from this uh, video 
and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.